Hey guys, Doug back with you again with another 1x1 series, but another blast from the past redo into the 1x1 series. I wanted to redo these old Easter heads from a couple years back into the 1x1 series because people who are just starting out with the 1x1 series are always saying, what would you recommend as a beginner, as a first carve? And I can honestly say in the 1x1 series, after you see this video today, this is going to be... A, by far one of the easiest carves out there but it's fun and painted up they kind of look like stone and uh, i was carving these all serious like eh? one uh, and then something just went in my brain again as it normally does and uh i had to go and i started with the putting the mustache on it and then i thought well let's go old happy toothy grin right Oh, why not give him a big old stone stogie, right? And uh, it just goes on and gets worse. But uh, make them, I'm just making them fun. No disrespect. The history of the Easter Island heads is fascinating. And I totally recommend you guys uh, watching some videos on YouTube. Just search the history of Easter Island. And uh, it's fascinating. The sizes and the how they maneuvered them and whatnot. It's just a great, great story. And so we're just having a little bit of fun with them today and uh, at their expense. But uh, like I said, it's it's a fun, simple little carve that uh, anybody can do. And uh, it's satisfying, especially painted up like stone. It's just kind of something a little bit different, right? So we're going to do that. We're going to use a piece of wood two and a half inches today, one by one by two and a half. And... Uh, Again, just the single knife. I think this is, or I know this is a Helvy, inch and three quarter. But uh, don't get carried away with the knives. Any sharp knife will do, whether it be flex cut, drake, badger state, deep hauler, they all do the job. So, without further ado, we gotta thank our sponsor again, Wood Carving Illustrated, right here. Fantastic magazine. Uh, you've heard me talk about these endlessly and uh i i stick with it great magazine full of tips and tricks and plans and uh they've been kind enough to give me a little uh, promo code which is linker all caps l-i-n-k-e-r and uh with your subscription to the magazine which the link will be in the description they'll give you some extra little freebies some extra little downloads to go with your subscription so very well worth it highly recommend it and let's carve a little Easter Island head. Uh, we're gonna do the face on the point this time. All right, so let's start with the, the sides here. Before we put a measurement down, I'm gonna take my knife, I'm just gonna peel off a healthy eighth of an inch flat on both sides, all right? Just like so. Right. There we go, okay. Now, with my ruler, I'm going to mark From the top, I'm going to go half inch, one inch, one and a half inch, okay? And then on the sides where the ears are going to be, we're going to come down a quarter inch, one inch, leaving a three quarter inch ear, okay? So, quarter inch, one inch. All right. Now, I'm going to take that bottom line. I'm going to bring it around. It's two sides. But that's all our marks. So yeah, people keep asking me what the uh, what I think the easiest carving to start with in this one by one series, and I think this will be it. <laughs> this is a fun, simple, easy carve. So let's get at it. I'm going to start with the chinny chin here, and uh, I'm going to make a V cut from the line down. Okay, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. I'm going to go fairly deep. You can have a real big V cut. All right, and I'm digging that in there. I'm going to go, shoot, I'm going to go probably a real good, healthy quarter inch, almost three eighths probably, okay? And you can see that's below the line. Now on the sides, I'm going to do the same thing, a little smaller V cut, but I'm going to go above the line, okay? And the reason for that is you're going to see is that I'm, give that jaw a little bit of a, a little bit of an angle, right? Right? See that? 
We're just going to uh, cut this down and then we're going to join the bottom and the sides. Right. So now we're going to join these two across. Okay. And that gives us our jawbone angle. All right. bottom it's gonna go across straight up I'm gonna clean this up fairly good because we may not ever have to touch it again All right it's fairly fairly even All right. give it a little, a little bit of a shoulder here a little shoulder here I'll look at it straight on and say yep yeah, I can live with that Okay, there we go. And again, our little lines are always going to tell us. Our lines keep us on us, so we're going to know where we are at. So I'm going to square that off just a little bit more. All right. All right. Now, those marks on the ears, I'm going to uh, come straight in. All right, and come down. I'm just gonna chip that little piece off of there. And again, probably an eighth of an inch. All right, down, and up. Okay, same on this side. getting our ears in place All right. now I got a little bit of a flare out in the bottom I don't like that so I'm gonna keep that nice and straight All right. there that's better okay now I'm grabbing this like this and I've got uh, the back is all sharp so let's just clean up the back right away so all I'm gonna do for the back let's look at one here the back is just rounded over and then slowly gradually comes up to the top and around over right so let's just do that in the back right now just to soften that up on my on my handsies all right about halfway here i'm just going to start moving in i'll probably go right to that edge of that line here but this is not the the top is not finished like this we'll finish it after but the back side we're going to have pretty much done and always 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 I don't leave any wood untouched as you can see I want a, I want a knife finish on every part of the wood we can't leave any of the wood untouched because it, it will take paint or stain or whatever differently okay so we always want to cut every part of the wood All right, that's the back. That's it. Okay, come around the side here again. I'm going to go take this bottom point off of here. Just flatten that out. Let's just finish the bottom right off. Let's make sure you got no little knife cuts in there. All right. And again, going to cut all the untouched wood off. All right, and while we're down here, let's just take a little chamfer off the bottom just to give it a finished edge. All right, that's our bottom. Okay, now let's go. Nose, nose time. Mm -hmm. We're going to uh, come straight in with the nose. Why is it so bright, eh? Very white. I'm going to take my knife and go straight in on that nose. Right. I'm going to cut up to it. 
right. Just like so. Okay. Same thing on the top. This is a brow ridge here. I'm going to come straight in. I'm going to come from the nose and I'm going to bring the nose up underneath. Yeah. All right, that's our profile so far. Now, as you can see, the forehead is back on an angle. So I'm going to go just above that, like so. And we'll start that process. Bringing that back. I'm just going to straighten that. I thought it was a little bit crooked. I'm working to the side of my camera, so I'm not getting a perfectly straight head on. So I got to fix that. Okay. Come on. Straighten it up. All right. See that? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that chin off to start with. I'm going to put a little square spot in the bottom of the chin. Okay, like so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my knife on there. I'm going to draw, let's draw a center line on here. Okay. I'm going to take my knife and rest it on the side here. I'm going to follow that right up down that center line. Right. I'm going to bring that brow ridge over. See that? I'm going to have a knife on here. I'm just going to try and follow that center line. Like that. I'm going to bring that down. Make it match a little bit. <laughs> All right, not bad. Uh, let's cut again with that untouched wood. We'll take all that off of there. Good, good, good. Right. So our center here, and draw our nose in. So just on each side of the center. I'm just going to draw a little nose in here. Now remember, you can't make your nose bigger, but you can make it smaller. So don't go too small to start with. But I'm just going to come in here, put a cut there. I'm going to take my knife, I'm going to dig it in now. All right. I'm going to come up around here to the side. I'm just going to take that chip out of there like that. Yeah. Okay, same thing here. Cut that way. I'm dig in with my knife this way. I'll follow up my nose around like that. And come up. Take that chip out of there. Now we'll compare compare sides again. Get that one a little bit deeper. Clean up our nose. All right. There's our nose. I'm going to bring each corner up a hair. Take the point off. There we go. And I'm going to raise that flat area from the chin up. Now, I got a little bit heavy again here, so I'm going to come again, just above there, take it off again. Right. I'm going to go one side, I'm going to make a little cut that way, on this side, cut that way. I got, now I made three planes on the forehead. See that? One, two, three. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and finish these ears. Remember I told you about that nice flat line that we made there? We're going to take the inside of it, 
right? I'm just gonna make a cut right down. Like so then I'm gonna come up the side, cut her off. See that? And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Come in, straight in, cross, lay my knife down here, come across, cut her off. Right. Clean that up. All right. Now I'm gonna take the same ear here. And I'm gonna take a little 45 degree angle off one way and one way. All right. That's it. Same on this side. 45 degree. 45 degree. All right, now I'm going to take the sharp edges off of here, from the bottom, run it her up. Okay, other side, run it her up the side, there we go. Now, I didn't do it on this, you can see that, but to add a little bit of a shadow in there, you can see how I've done a little, little cut in there, just to give a little depth in the ear. So all I'm going to do for that is I'm going to come in a whisker and come down and come out a little bit early. All right, just a little C cut in there. I'm going to take that little piece right out of there. All right, come on out, little piece. Okay. See that? There. Same thing on this side. I'm going to come in and then come out a little bit early. There. See that? And we can take all the sharp edges off the ear, but let's not worry about that right now. As he worries about it right now. Let's get the shape of the head here. So we've got the top of our ears are all done. So let's just take that angle, just kind of come up, start rounding the top of that head. Okay, from that angle, it's going to come up, around, and just start angling that head in. All right, take my knife, take that saw cut off the top. If you see white lines on that saw cut on the end grain, it's time to strop your knife. People always ask me how many times I strop my knife during a carving, and I rarely strop my knife during a carving, but I do start with it razor sharp every time. So, all right, so there we go. We're doing okay. I kind of, you don't have to do this. I'm kind of a facet guy. I like to uh, have a bit of that flat plane. Look, I like those planes on there, okay? But we have uh, done a whole variety pack of mows, and mows are what give it the character. Old traditional dude would be like, uh, well, he's him, straight across, right? But, now he's got a little bit of flare there. Where's my straight guy? This is my traditional Easter Island head, but like I said, something just kind of clicked in my brain, and I said, why so serious? And uh, started getting goofy. So I got some toothy smile. I got the old stone, stone stogie in this guy's mouth. That's pretty straightforward. A little, another little smile with just the top teeth showing. Of course, had to do the mustache, right? And then this guy who's just plain happy, and I think this is what we're gonna go with something like this because uh, it's just it's such a contrast to uh, him. Hi, right. I'm grumpy, I'm happy. So let's stay happy, okay? That's all we're gonna do then. I'm just gonna put a great big smile on here. All right. Let me take my knife. My tip of my knife in there. I'm kind of angling down a little bit for the top lip. 
Alright. And then we can cut up to it. And as you can see, I still have to uh, still have to flatten that. It's still a sharp edge with a pencil line on it, so I'm just gonna clean up that top lip, like so. Alright. Well, that's not done. I like to give him a volume. We can actually, let's open it. Let's do it again. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to cut just a hair lower. See if we can get that mouth open just a little bit. That'll be fun. Just open it up. Come on. Get out. You're cut. Get out. You dirty rat. Come on. Come on. There we go. A little brush. All right. But still, we're not done. So I'm going to give a, a bottom lip here. All right. I'm going to give a little bottom lip. But I'm going to bring that bottom lip and I want to bring it to almost nothing. You know what I mean? I'll show you. I'm just going to put my knife in, bottom lip, and I'm just going to roll it down. Right? Just rolling it down. See that? The lip's starting. And then again, I'm going to come up to that corner. See that? And that's what I mean by fat lip. Up to nothing. All right. So I'll do the same thing over here. There we go. <laughs> He's a happy. He's a happy camper, that fella. But I like to also now. I'll put a little stopper on the end of the mouth. Just a straight cut in, a little little chip cut out. Yeah, it just kind of ends that uh, ends the mouth nicely. If I could have done it neatly, there we go. Okay, let's do that on this side too. All right. There we go that's one happy happy Easter Island head so as you can see now the eyes all this is especially with the painting it's all about the shadowing and whatnot. so if I want those eyes just to be a little bit deeper darker I'm gonna put my knife in here I'm gonna go straight down and push but again I'm gonna take the smallest of V cuts out of there just a teeny tiny little V cut see that but now you can see a little bit extra depth. Do the same thing again here. Teeny tiny little bee cut. Just adds that little bit of a depth on there. What I'm doing now is actually I'm just trying to make it symmetrical. I can see I got off a little bit. But there we go. So now I'm just gonna go around the whole guy here. I'm just gonna soften up some of these super, super hard edges. Get that point off the nose. All right. Soften the ears a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. Come down here, up here. All right. Come down here, up here. Shoulders here. A little cut this way. A little cut this way. But there you go. Yes. 
better. All right, let me uh, give him a shot of water. Make him sh highlight some of those. Oh, come on now. Come on, water. Okay, I'll hold it over here. All right. The water just highlights all the cuts and the shadows. But there is a little fella. Oh, this one's got a snot trough. You can do a little snot trough. You want it? All right. There you go. If you want to do some uh, little tiny V cuts here for nostrils, you can do that too. But the point is to be super uh, minimalist with our cuts and make it a very fun and easy curve. There we go. There we go. Our happy little Easter Island head. All right, guys. There you have our simple carved little Easter Island heads. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a fun little carve. Now, the painting is a little bit different. What I did was I, I coated them all in linseed oil. Then after doing that, I gave it a nice light uh, a gray wash, a watered down dark gray paint. And then I took some, again, very watered down black and just gave some extra little shadows and whatnot. And then I also gave it a, a white, a dry brushing with white. And then after that, I just took my paintbrush and uh, just went flecking white and black on it to give it that little bit of a little speckled, speckled look. You can see that one. That's an old one, but you can see those little paint flecks where I just went pew, pew, pew. Now, I gotta learn how to do it proper because I couldn't just shoot it like that. I was, I was kind of tapping it like that. And uh, I've got it from here to the other side of my desk. And then when I did that, and I got it from here to this on my shoulder when I did it. But uh, little paint flecks just add a little bit of extra. Kind of looks like that the soapstone, right? Little, little specks of sand in it. But anyway, fun little project. Like I said, one that I'm going to be recommending as a beginner carving from now on and uh yeah it's great don't forget wood carving illustrated link in the description big thanks to them for uh supporting me and uh keeping these videos going and uh supporting all the wood carvers with all their good plans and uh, stuff in the magazine so without further ado i'm gonna get out of here and uh, do something else but uh I'll be back again with another in our one by one series. In fact, I've got a couple lined up that I'm pretty excited about and uh, should be a lot of fun. So I will catch you on them. So thanks for watching.